What's up, everybody? A lot of people move to Washington, D.C. for work, but not everybody wants to live in the city. So today we're going to go through Niche.com's latest rankings on the top suburbs of Washington, D.C. for 2022. We'll go through their top 10. So let's just dive right in. So when Niche.com makes their list, they take into account several key factors of any location, including the quality of local schools, crime rates, housing trends, employment statistics, and access to amenities in attempts to measure the overall quality of an area. Their data comes from dozens of public data sources, including the Department of Education, the US Census, and the FBI. They also gather over 100 million reviews and survey people from the local neighborhoods. If you want a more detailed list of how they get to these rankings and the factors involved, I'll put a link below so you can check it out. But let's get to the top 10. Number 10, Travilla, Maryland. Travilla is a neighborhood in Montgomery County that is known for its luxury homes and large lots. The population of Travilla is about 11,000 people. The feeling in Travilla is more rural as it's not really close to any local shopping centers. You have to drive about 15 minutes to get to the next biggest shopping center, which is probably in Potomac Village. If you're looking for lots of greenery and long private driveways, Travilla is definitely a great choice. The public high schools in Travilla are very highly rated. And today of July in 2022, the high school is either Winston Churchill or Thomas Wooten High School. The median home value is $1,071,000. The median household income is approximately $235,000. Number nine. Chevy Chase, Maryland. Chevy Chase, Maryland is located in Montgomery County, Maryland with a population of around 9,800 people. Chevy Chase, Maryland borders Washington, D.C., so it's a super easy commute into the city. It's one of the older neighborhoods outside of Washington, D.C., so you'll definitely find a good mix of these older stately homes mixed in with some new construction. Living in Chevy Chase offers its residents an urban-suburban mix. Depending on where you are in Chevy Chase, you could be really super close to the metro and shops, or you could be in a neighborhood with rolling hills and lots of greenery. The median home value of Chevy Chase, Maryland is $957,000. The median household income is approximately $192,000. The public high school in Chevy Chase, Maryland is BCC or Bethesda Chevy Chase and is ranked number nine out of all the public high schools in the state of Maryland according to Niche.com. Number eight, Bethesda, Maryland. Bethesda, Maryland is located in Montgomery County, Maryland with a population of around 65,000 people. Bethesda has its own downtown, which is super cute. It's lined with shops and restaurants and has its own movie theater, Bethesda Row. The houses in Bethesda are definitely a mix of the older and the new, and the lots tend to be on the smaller side because it is one of the oldest suburbs of Washington, D.C. The public and private schools in Bethesda, Maryland are very highly rated. The public high school, Walt Whitman, is one of the most highly ranked public high schools not only in the state of Maryland, but in the whole country. The famous NIH, the National Institute of Health, and Walter Reed Medical Center are both located in Bethesda, Maryland. I've done a lot of videos on Bethesda, so if you're interested in Bethesda, definitely check out my other videos. The median home value, according to Niche.com, is $927,000, and the median household income is approximately $172,000. Number seven, Arlington, Virginia. Arlington, Virginia is located in Arlington County with a population of approximately 236,000 people. Arlington is located just across the Potomac River from Washington, D.C. In Arlington, you can find over 1,100 acres of parks and open spaces that are connected by over 75 miles of multi-use trails. Arlington's art scene has been called a hotbed of cultural abandon by the Washington Post and described as one of the hippest local jurisdictions for attracting various adventurous artists. In Arlington, on any given day of the week, you can find different farmers markets that offer fresh produce and cheeses, and sometimes they'll have live music or food trucks and can be quite the social scene. Arlington is definitely more urban than suburban with a lot of bars and restaurants and cafes and parks. The median home value in Arlington is $731,700, and the median household income is approximately $122,604. Number six, 
Potomac, Maryland. Potomac, Maryland is located in Montgomery County, Maryland with a population of approximately 46,000 people. Potomac used to be called horse country, so you can still find a lot of acreage if that's what you're looking for in Potomac. But now it's basically one of the more bustling suburbs of Washington, D.C. In Potomac, you have Potomac Village, our Mecca shopping center, which has two gas stations, two grocery stores, tons of shops and restaurants, and a local bakery. Some of the great parks in Potomac are Great Falls National Park and my favorite, the Billy Goat Trail, you really need to visit these if you're anywhere close to Washington, D.C. The public high schools in Potomac are very highly rated. You have Winston Churchill, which Niche.com rated number three in the state of Maryland, and Thomas Wooten, which is rated number seven. Like I said, in Potomac, you can still find a lot of acreage. So if you're looking for that big backyard but still want to be close to the city, Potomac is a great choice. I have made a lot of videos on Potomac, so if you're interested in Potomac, definitely check them out. The median home value, according to Niche.com, is $905,800, and the median household income is $189,729. Number five, Stone Ridge, Virginia. Stone Ridge, Virginia is located in Loudoun County with a population of approximately 15,000 people. The community is approximately 14 miles from Dulles Airport, and about 37 miles from Washington, D.C. Stone Ridge consists of condos, townhomes, and single-family homes. Stone Ridge strives to maintain a small-town feel while being very close to the big city. They only have about 3,500 homes. Stone Ridge has won many national and regional landscaping awards for having well-manicured streets and common areas. Residents enjoy a plethora of amenities, including a recently renovated clubhouse that includes a fitness center, different pools, tennis courts, basketball courts, tot lots, and an amphitheater. The median home value is approximately $510,300. The median household income is approximately $163,000. Number four, North Bethesda, Maryland. North Bethesda is located in Montgomery County, Maryland with a population of just under 50,000 people. North Bethesda is located between Bethesda and Rockville and has a more urban feel to it. North Bethesda is a great gateway for people moving out of the city but still wanting a more urban feel. In North Bethesda, you have the Pike and Rose Shopping Center, which has tons of restaurants and shops and a bowling alley and also has Bark Social, one of my favorite places where you can go, bring your dog and have a drink. The public high school in North Bethesda, Walter Johnson, has been ranked number six in the state of Maryland by Niche.com in 2022. You also have Georgetown Prep, which is a private school for boys, which is also very highly rated. The median home value is $594,100 and the median household income is approximately $111,694. Number three, South Kensington, Maryland. South Kensington is located in Montgomery County, Maryland with a population of approximately 8,000 494 people. South Kensington is one of the older neighborhoods outside of DC. So you have a great mix of architecture from Victorian homes up to present day new construction. You also have their very famous Saturday farmer's market in South Kensington, as well as Antique Row with the old train station. There is a great sense of community in South Kensington and you'll find a lot of the residents socializing at the different farmer's markets and outdoor community events. With it being one of the older suburbs of Washington, D.C., you still can find older homes and you still can find some affordable housing in Kensington. One of my favorite places to go in Kensington is the Noise Library. It's the oldest public library in the D.C. area and now is used exclusively for children where they have really cute events like story time and it's just super cute to bring your child. The median home value in South Kensington is $783,600 and the median household income is $180,000. Number two. Cascades, Virginia. Cascades is located in Loudoun County, Virginia with a population of approximately 12,132 people. Cascades is a planned community of 2,500 acres and approximately 6,500 homes. This community features main street style shopping as well as several dining options and is very close to a beautiful regional park. The Homeowners Association maintains five community centers, five swimming pools, 15 tennis courts, and other amenities, including extensive paved walking trails. 
People love living in Cascades for their highly rated schools and their true community living. The median home value is approximately $477,800 and the median household income is approximately $137,293. And the number one suburb of Washington, D.C., according to Niche.com for 2022 is North Potomac. North Potomac is located in Montgomery County, Maryland with a population of approximately 24,146 people. North Potomac is located between Gaithersburg and Potomac. While North Bethesda is more urban, North Potomac is more suburban. Located just 40 minutes outside of Washington, D.C., North Potomac gives you a great suburban feel while still being pretty close to the city for an easy commute. The home values in North Potomac are also better than its neighbors Potomac and Rockville and Bethesda because you are a little further out. The public high schools Thomas Wooten and Quince Orchard are very highly rated. North Potomac is known for its super cute neighborhoods with local community pools. North Potomac is also ranked number one on Niche.com's list of best places to live in Maryland in 2022. It really is a truly special place to live. The median home value is $670,600 and the median household income is $166,383. I hope you got some value out of this video today. If you are thinking about moving to Maryland, DC or Virginia and you would like our help, definitely send us an email. We'll set up a Zoom. We'll get you started. And if you did enjoy this video, check out my other videos on the rankings from niche.com. They're a lot of fun to make and hopefully a lot of fun to watch. And if you would like to support our channel, you can do that by smashing that like button, commenting below and subscribing to our channel. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm and motivates us to make more videos. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Bye.